Everyone wants HDR, but not everyone has a camera that can record in HDR. So in order not to be discouraged and get the desired result, you and I get as much as we can in post. And we have prepared for you a trick in the Movavi video editor that will help you make the HDR effect even if your camera cannot record in HDR. My name is Arthur Weiner, this is the Movavi vlog, and what is HDR really? Everyone knows that it's cool, but doesn't fully understand what it's all about. HDR stands for high dynamic range. The higher the dynamic range, the more detail we see in shadows and highlights. Apparently our eye perceives the highest dynamic range compared to today's cameras, at least for now. When we stand in a room and look out the window on a bright sunny day, we can see the room as good as the street. There are no overexposed areas in front of our eyes. And this is exactly what you can't do with a lot of cameras. It's either too overexposed or underexposed. You have to choose one of two things, or you buy an expensive camera that records video with a very high dynamic range. At least it's tricky for video. However, it's easier with photos. That's why you can see an HDR icon in your smartphone's camera settings, which you can turn on if you really want to. Photos taken with HDR are essentially a series of combined shots taken with different exposures. The program picks the best ones and gives you a photo with a lot of detail. But automatically the program doesn't always do it well, it's better to save both the original and the HDR version of the same photo. But what about video? You can't do it with video, just enjoy the exposure you set. That's why more professional cameras have flat log profiles to get more details and make the desired result in post. But if you have a cheap camera, you don't have such profiles, but there is still a chance to fix or better to say improve the video in a video editor. So I have this shot from Top Gun and I have it in small resolution, just 640 by 360. So let's open Movavi Video Suite and select AI upscaling to improve the video quality. This program upscales video resolution with minimal loss and quality quality using artificial intelligence. And all you have to do is drag and drop your video into the app window and choose which resolution you want to get. I advise you to choose 4x to be sure, and if you look closely you will notice that the image on the right side is sharper and smoother. Then you just choose the desired folder and press upscale. Now open the mobile video editor itself and drag and drop the clip onto the timeline. By the way, you can get this app as well as the video editor and all the mobile apps in general right now in one affordable and intuitive platform, Movavi Unlimited. That is, it includes video editing, photo editing, screen recording, file conversion apps, and a year's worth of unlimited access to Movavi's effects store. Best of all, even an average computer will be enough to get the job done. The main thing is to get started and you can learn how to use the platform as you go along. Because this product is designed for both beginners and more advanced users. The Movavi Unlimited yearly plan is available with 85% off on a secret Movavi sale. The promotion is limited in time, so hurry up and click the link below to take advantage of this offer and start making cool videos like the top YouTubers. So the clip is already on the timeline. Click on it and go to the section with filters and then artistic. I am interested in the sketch filter. We take it and drag it directly to the clip. Now find the blur section, select blur intense, drag it to the clip and in the effects setting, set the intensity to about 5%. Click export MP4 format and set the quality to high. Name this clip HDR filter 1, select the desired folder and click start. Now on the same clip, remove these two effects and go again to the tab with filters, only this time we're interested in the glowing edges filter. Drag and drop it onto the clip, followed by the exact same blur effect as we did last time and render that clip clip again. This time erase all the effects from the clip again, but now create two blank video tracks by clicking this button and video track. On these two tracks, drag and drop the two clips you just rendered, a sketch on the second track and a glowing edges on the third. And now we need to play with the opacity of the clips to blend all the styles we just created. To do that, click on the second clip and go to clip properties. I recommend setting the opacity of the second clip to about 15% and the opacity of the third clip to about 30. Boom, what did we get? 
First, we lighten the image a bit, that is, we brought back the shadows. Second, we slightly darkened the image, so we dimmed the highlights. And thirdly, we created a slight outline of the objects. In other words, we made the image flatter with added detail. And now we can color grade it. But to grade it, first, render the video again and put it back on the timeline. Go to the manual color correction section, increase the contrast, increase the saturation, and a little bit of gamma. And that's something I'm starting to like, but you can go even further and color grade the image in the LUT section. Generally speaking, Mobavi Unlimited Color Correction is a powerful yet simple expressive tool. Not only will it fix videos shot in low light, but it will also set the mood of your video. You can add new LUTs to your collection either through the effects store or by uploading them to the program as separate files. So here is how this shot looked before and here is after. Of course, you have to understand that this is more of a way of color correcting your footage than a true HDR. The idea of this technique is that we make the image flat before the color grade. That is, we pull as much information as possible from the image to create a kind of HDR, but by no means a real HDR. Anyway, here's the unusual way to create such an effect. And to learn more about color grading and video editing in Movavi, check out these videos like this one if it was helpful to you and see you in the next one.